folks, you might be wondering what that was all about. This is Tom McHale with American Handgunner here with another first look from 1791 Gun Leather. We're going to show you something cool. In fact, uh, rather than stand here and talk about it, let's do this. We are going to make a custom fit leather holster using my wife's expensive kitchen utensils. Uh, I would appreciate it if you keep this little project between us. Uh, I'd rather or not find out. All right. Here goes nothing. My uh, sous vide cooker, which does a wonderful job on steaks, by the way, is at 165 degrees, the optimal temperature for cooking holsters, apparently. So it's my first time trying this, so we're going to learn together. And if all else fails, maybe I can eat it. We'll see. I'm going to take some uh, old 45 bullets, throw them in the bottom of the included Ziploc bag here, just to keep the thing underwater. Uh, now, first step is to get most of the air out. That'll allow the water in our cooker to heat this thing effectively and evenly. Got a sealed bag, holster for dinner, and in it goes. Now, keep that submerged. This is a creative solution here. We're gonna weigh that thing down and cook it for five minutes. We'll be right back. All right, it's been five minutes. Dinner is ready. I'll go ahead and pull this holster out of here. You do wanna check and make sure, I spilled a little water on the way out. That's okay, they said no harm done. Um, anyway, you do wanna make sure things are pliable, and they are. So I am gonna give this a go and see if we can fit a gun. All right, so now it is time to attempt to custom fit our gun to this holster. I've got a Glock 43X, just put a Trichcon RMR CC on today. Make sure it is unloaded. It is, magazine's out, uh, ready to go. So we insert the gun in the holster, kind of get it in the position we want. That's about right. Trigger guard's completely covered. Optics got good clearance. So now we've got these two nifty tools that came with this guy. And the very first thing we're going to do is put this one up top to establish the sight channel. Now we want to make sure that um, we've got room for the front sight to clear the holster as it's coming out. So I'm going to leave this guy here while I mold the rest. And we're going to use some fingers to do that. Try using this tool. Go ahead and depress into the trigger guard a little bit because I want some retention on this guy being an OWB holster. Now, apparently, the way this works, it, it is a real leather holster on both sides, but there is some magic material in the middle that is going to keep its shape as it cools off. We're going to leave that there for a few minutes and let things cool off and harden up. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and pull the sight channel spacer out and we should be good to go. All right, this thing has cooled off, should maintain its shape from this point. Got a nice little trigger guard indentation. Go ahead and pop out the sight channel spacer. Excellent friction retention there. Got a little bit of indentation in the trigger guard, a nice shape around that. We got a little little dent around the uh, ejection port, help with retention on the top side. It's hard to hear, but it's even got a little bit of click to it, a little bit like Kydex in that respect. But it's a soft leather holster. Be gentle on your gun and uh, be comfortable to wear. So we're going to try this thing out. Again, 1791 Gun Leather, the Ultra Custom OWB Holster. Make your own. So there you have it. 
from 1791 Gun Leather, the Ultra Custom Holster. You can get these in IWB and OWB configurations, but the coolest part is you can fit it perfectly to your handgun just the way you want, and it'll stay that way. So if you want more videos like this, hit that follow button, and be sure to check us out at AmericanHandgunner.com.